Hey, Sharon Hornell from here, also known as Pajama Grandma. I want to share with you in this video how I make all the money I want, all the money I need with chronic pain, in spite of chronic illness, in spite of chronic pain, in spite of blindness. Uh, I have been through a lot, as I'm sure you have too, but as I was bedridden years and years ago, I discovered that the doctors were not going to fix me. I was going to have to take back control of my life and my health and my well-being and create the life that I wanted. And as part of that, I began my journey of discovering how I could live my life, how I could create the life I wanted. And I finished school, finished college, strugglingly. It wasn't an easy it wasn't an easy thing for me. It wasn't an easy transition. Everything for those of us with chronic pain is much harder for those of us with chronic illnesses. We're knocked out of the game and out of our life for days, weeks, months, sometimes years at a time. But it doesn't mean we don't get back up and keep moving forward. So I finished school. I got a job and I worked in corporate America for actually over a quarter century. I, I worked in corporate America for, for over 25 years as a quality executive, I'm an engineer. So as an engineer, quality executive and um, in different aspects of quality and manufacturing and leadership and things like that. And it was hard. It, it was hard being ill and sick and having chronic pain to have to go to a job every day. I made it work, but it wasn't it wasn't easy. There were times when I missed work because I was sick and I couldn't get out of bed. There were times when I had to take leaves of absence because I couldn't get out of bed, but I was still able to generate the money and get the income coming in that I needed to survive and to, and to take care of myself and my family. And beyond that, so there's, there's, there are jobs that are flexible. And nowadays, more than ever, there are jobs and employers and things that we can do, all of us, that we can do from home. We can work from home on a lot of aspects that weren't available back when I was first sick and when I first experienced my challenges. Now, I also created businesses. I created businesses of my own it, be, now on the online world, but before in the offline world, in the brick and mortar world, I created and set up and had businesses that I ran so that I could set up the rules to work around my lifestyle, my personal needs, my specific health and challenges. I set it up so that it worked for me. I created the business so that it worked for me. So I could work when I could work, but when I wasn't available to work for whatever reason, if I was having a surgery, if I was having a challenge, if I was you know, not able to see because my eyes were inflamed, I had systems and people and things in place to make sure that that business kept running, kept generating income, even when I wasn't there, even when I wasn't available, up to and including a sudden cardiac arrest. Um, so I don't want you to think that my challenges instantly went away because I decided I was going to move on with my life. They've stayed and they've continued and sometimes they've escalated and gotten worse, but I'm still here. I'm still creating the life that I want. And if I can do it with all the stuff that I've had go on and other people that I know of have had go on with them and they're still waking up every day and facing the day and figuring out how to make it work, then you can too. Um, so nowadays online, there are so many ways to set things up on autopilot to provide an income and money for you to get the treatments you need, to get the, the time that you need to recover and get better, the, the time that you need to be down when you're having challenges. There are so many options. You have to know that they're available for you, but you have to go looking for them. Nobody's going to say, oh, here, here's a million dollars. You just take care of yourself. Well, if they do, God bless you and, and more power to you. But the probability of that happening is slim to none, right? So we have to take control of our lives and go after the things that will support us, that will the relationships, the, the help, the support that we need, the, the care, the treatments, the things that will make our life better it's not going to be maybe awesome, but I have an awesome life because I choose to focus on what I can do, not on what I can't do. And if I can do it, I know you can do it too. That's it. Go out, make it an awesome day. And tomorrow I will share something really special that I've created just for you to help you know that if I can do it, you can do it too. You can create the life that you want, even with chronic pain and chronic illness or blindness or whatever is going on with you. That's it. Take care. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. The jam grandma out.